Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, Brian Glaze Gibbs, and this is my ministry. Um, Like I say, hopefully everybody's doing well. You had a great weekend. You're motivated, ready to get your day started, ready to get out there, make it happen. Just like you say, you can't lay down and make things happen. You got to get up. I don't care what you're going through. You got to get up to make things happen. On um, the day, what I'm going to talk about is um, I've been getting a lot of questions. And in my DMs, people reach out to me and they want to know about this individual right here. Okay. This guy name is Quarterfield. Okay. And to me right now was when I met Quarterfield, I met Quarterfield, I say about 85, doing 85, 86. When I used to be out there on Ralph and Pacific. And, you know, when you're out in Ralph and Pacific, you know, and the area and the people that you're hanging around or who you're around with, you know, it's like those how you more or less like run into people. Not saying that, you know, like I told you right now, we really didn't have no direct dealing. We didn't have no direct dealing. I knew who he was. He knew who I was. But the difference is right now is like, you know, the word back then was he was a dangerous individual. Um, stick up kid for the most part. And right now is he would blast you. He would blow you off this planet. So to me, even when we over there in that area hustling, and you being aware of the stick of kids. Um, that man right there, you have to be worried about. He was an individual. Guess what? You know, right now where it's like to me, was he the Brooklyn Omar Little from the wire? Because when he came through, you know, up the hill and up in that area, guess what? Everybody knew what time it was. And for the most part that I know of, me know of this individual personally, guess what? They were scared to death, man. They were scared to death of him. Um, long story short, man, like I say, like I personally, you know what I'm saying? Only that I see him in passing. What's up? That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But the difference is right now is, guess what? Wolves respect wolves. So to me, I knew that he had a good relationship with this man, okay? With the white shirt on, a la justice. And I'll get to that later on. Um, like I say, during that period of time, you had hustlers. Cats that was out there, you know, everybody trying to be hustlers as far as like dealers, drug dealers. They trying to open up spot, trying to get their self established. You got the old timer that been out there forever. They know what they doing. And most of the cats from the hill, like, you know what I'm saying, the Donnie Small was and no guys or whatever, the Bieber or whatever. Those guys knew what they was doing. Then you have my man, you know, Max, Mad Max. Those cats knew what they was doing. Then you had other individuals like, you know, Bubby and Cecil and Ray Ray, you know, guys. Although old timer, they knew what they was doing or whatever, and they was getting that paper, crazy paper. So when you got young guys like us come along trying to get paper, trying to get into the game, trying to understand the game, you know what? Like I told you, we just came from the street. So you gave up that stick of mentality. Now what you're trying to do is you don't want to rob no more. You want to try the easy way out. You want to try to get a place, get an apartment, get a band building, put the steel doors off, and you're trying to do, like, you know what I'm saying, service a customer behind. Or, or protector like you know you want to serve the customer behind a door most likely a steel door so when they come in you don't see who you're getting the product from you know you all day long you're in and out in and out they slide the money in you slide the product out so even then when you're trying to get established you're going to have wars and everybody that's why like i was aware of who this guy was because if i'm in that area and he trying to hit us you want to know who he is so you can get him before he gets you but like I told you, we never had no problem with him. And as time went on, like I told you, he took care of his business. He did his thing. He hit who he wanted to hit or who he knew he could hit. Because once again, people, everybody know who's the weakest link. Everybody know who's the target. The wolf know what sheep to go after. And with him, he was no different. So, like, you know, as time went on, I guess like with him, you know, Got that little area terrorized. You know, I'm talking about over there by the hill, Sagatoga Avenue, um, Rockaway, um, Kingsboro, all that little area. And right now is like, you know, from my understanding, one time, like I say right now is he put some pressure on some people, which what would cause his demise. But um, even before that, what wound up happening was my man, a lot of justice and him was close friend. So one time, a la justice, you know, right now is, was going to rob and kill my brother. Okay. So the difference is right now is when a la justice approached 
what I'm saying? He went to Cyprus and he approached my brother. And he had my brother, you know, he thought he had my brother him up. Because basically right now was they went to the site from my Cyprus headquarters. And I was incarcerated at the time. I was fighting fight a murder charge during that period of time. So when I went to the headquarters, you know what I'm saying? My, you know, my brother was there. And my brother, right-hand man, was there. The guy right there next to me with the white on. So he's from Kingsborough. So they was there. So here it is. When a lot of justice came there, you know, they let him in. And they cop. You know what I'm saying? My man right here. Cop the 45. And when he cocked the 45, guess what? You know, just got all nervous. No, 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 no. That's him again with the glasses on. When he cocked the 45, just got nervous. Oh, no, 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 no. Ho, ho, what's up, what's up, what's up? So the difference was, like, you know, you know, they listened to what he had to say. He left. And when he left, he went back. You know, just went back. You know what I'm saying? Just went back and told Quarterfield, yo, I almost had that nigga cool. And he said, huh? He said, yeah, man, I was going to rob and kill him. But his man had the gun cop. So, you know, Quarterfield tell him, yo, hold on, wait a minute, man. I thought you told me that, you know what? Glaze was your man. You I'm saying, period. He says, yeah, man, Glaze is my man. But his brother, you know, he saw. And I was going to get him. So w what I'm just trying to say right now is like, that's how I got back to them. Uh, that's how I got back to us. That, guess what? Because Quarterfield, you know, he spilled the gut. He told him, like, listen, man, you know, Just was going to get, you know what I'm saying, on cool. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got back to me, and that's how Just became on my hot list or whatever. But anyway, getting back to Quarterfield, he had got himself caught up into some things or whatever. And the difference is right now, I guess they put a hit out on him. You know, some big wigs put a hit out on him. And guess what? Somebody took the hit. But the difference was when he got shot, you know what I'm saying, he was just wounded. He wasn't even dead. Right now is he was wounded. He had a few gunshots to the body. So the difference is, from my understanding right now, somebody came along, befriend him, and act like, you know, everybody's seen him. Get in the car with the guy, and he was supposed to be taken to the hospital. So opposed to him taking to the hospital, because if he would have took him to the hospital, chances are, Cordyfield was going to die anyway, because of the, the shots. But the difference is, what he did was, everybody saw him get in the car with him, and he took, you know what I'm saying, supposed to be taken, you know what I'm saying, Cordyfield to the hospital. And Quarterfield right now, he finished Quarterfield off. But the difference is right now is, guess what? Folks, everybody know their limitation. Because even right now, he's wounded, but they still being very cautious about it. They didn't want to go ahead and put themselves in danger. So they had to build his trust. Like, act like, yo, I'm on your side. I'm here to save you. I'm here to take you to the hospital. But that wasn't the case. And once again, like I said right now is, to me, you got to sit back and look at it, folks. If you live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword. And the difference is right now, when you out there and you wolves, people don't trust wolves. You know, and to me right now is don't even put yourself in that type of predicament by becoming the wolves. Why? Because right now was, hey, eventually people get tired of wolves. They get tired of the boogeyman and they start coming together. And that's what wound up happening. These guys, this community came together and they wanted him gone. And right now was, guess what? He was gone. And that's why I, I posed the question, was Quarterfield, I'm saying, the Brooklyn Omar Little. Omar Little from The Wire. And everybody seen The Wire. Every time The Wire come on, they see Omar Little come with his shotgun. You know what I'm saying? With his trench coat. Everybody got the heck out of there. So basically, Quarterfield, when from that little vicinity, Quarterfield was like the Omar Little, man. And, you know, may his soul rest in peace. And like I tell you right now, man, it was just a, just a different time and era back then. And a lot of times, like I say, people, you don't know. And a lot of times, people want to talk about things that they don't know about. And to me, like I say... I know him, but I didn't know him. It's not like we had any dealing. What's up? That's about it. I just was aware, aware of who he was. I knew he was a dangerous individual. And guess what? I was not letting him sneak up on me. So the difference is, folks, listen, man, be aware you're surrounded. Um, safeguard yourself. And the difference is right now, listen, man, get in, don't even get into the street life. Get a job. Get a career. Go to school. You know what? Don't get caught up into that nonsense. Why? Because once again, you're going to end up in jail. Are you going to end up dead like Quarterfield and so many others? And you know what? It's not worth it. Listen, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. You know what? Get your copy of the Beyond Lucky book by emailing me. Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. Listen, like I say, crime doesn't pay. And there's no shortcut in life, man. Only thing come fast is trouble. Easy to get into and hard to get out. Hey, follow me, Instagram. Brian Glaze Gibbs. F-I, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs can change 
Anybody can change, folks. Thank you for joining me, and y'all have yourself a blessed day. One love.